Okay, I'm going to give you my best tip on how to overcome any anxiety or fear you've got in your life. Probably a fear at the moment that you'd love to overcome. It's really bugging you. It's really stressing you out because you know if you can face this fear and get on the other side of it, you can achieve your goals and live your dreams or just be a lot happier and be more confident. So before I tell you the solution, I want to tell you the mistake that most people make. Most people make a mistake in their mind of telling themselves that they've got to face all their fears in a short amount of time, like one day or a week. And what that tends to do to the human psychology and people, it makes you so frightened because it's so overwhelming, it's so stressful, it feels so unachievable that you end up not doing anything. So the actual right solution, the right psychology, you know, and the positive approach, both mentally, emotionally, and practically, on a practical level, if that makes more sense, is to actually break the fear down into small components. So let's say, for example, you had a really bad fear of public speaking, speaking in front of a group. What you do is, maybe you practice what I'm doing, just practicing speaking in front of a camera when there's no one around. So you can just get used to your own voice. You can just get used to expressing yourself and speaking into a lens. So you see that, it's not the whole thing, but it's something. Then once you gain some more confidence and momentum, then you could say, well now, maybe I'll practice giving the talk in front of one friend, a friend that, you know, that would uh, help me support me. Then, I, then And then I'd practice in front of two people, then five. So you'd gradually, for a process, you'd move into your fear step by step until you could completely overcome it. I promise you, if you take this advice on board and apply it, your life will change. So another fear a lot of people have is leaving the house and you know going out in public, interacting with people. I had this fear myself. Now my advice would be, if you've got a fear of going out in public and museums, restaurants, or to the gym because you're nervous around people, you feel paranoid, anxious, judged, claustrophobic, I'd say just go out for a five minute walk, just leave your house, just walk around your, your apartment or your block or, or the estate or wherever, you, a village or a park. Just do a five minute walk, practice breathing, just practice, you know, you know, monitoring your fear and then come home. And you'd feel a little bit better because, you, because the idea is, as far as our psychology is concerned, the psychology is going to kind of say, am I taking action, yes or no? And if you're not making any effort towards facing your fear, the mind's going to give you a hard time. Whereas if you're doing something, your mind will go, well, I'm not fully satisfied, but I'm a little bit satisfied because you've done something. And that's kind of how you please that positive part of your mind. So it's really about learning to motivate yourself, develop the right mindset, the right attitude and approach to get you to do the things that you're afraid to do. So another fear I had, I did a video about it, I used the same approach, I was afraid of the dentist. So my first approach was just practicing phoning up, making an appointment. That I was nervous even to do that, even to talk about it. So once I made the appointment, Obviously, I was still nervous about going, but I practiced just walking down to the dentist and just finding where it was on, on Google Maps and going down there. So it was ex basically, it's exposure therapy. You gradually, slowly move beyond your fears or, or into your fear until you can do it. And you can apply that to pretty much anything in life. And it just psychologically gives you more relief. So another one could be, you know, if you've got a fear of job interviews, then you have a, a practice interview with, with your parents or a friend, or or you'd go, um, you know, maybe you practice, you know, a telephone call. You know, you just, you just do something that is a little bit less stressful to the to the actual thing that you need to face. But it's, but what's in the right direction? Another one, like I said, if you're nervous and going out in public places, maybe go for a walk for a park for half an hour. And once you get more used to being out in public, then you can go for a walk for an hour then two hours then you might want to go into a shop and just say hello to someone and buy so it's a great it's a gradual thing and that's it that's that's a, that's as simple as it is but if you put this into practice your confidence will go up your anxiety will decrease and you will eventually overcome your fear fully all right so if you've got a lot of value from this video let me know in the box below and i'll see you next video any questions you've got to make more videos don't be shy let me know in the box below or do be shy but write the question anyway all right appreciate the support Become fearless.